And now for the rest of the story. I was notified this morning that there's a video on YouTube that mentions me, mentions my sister, and mentions Box Van D and the Nomad community. I wasn't going to respond because the video is full, 100% full of lies. And that should have been a no-brainer because he never reached out to me for my side of the story or to my sister or Box Van D. He just has one person with the side of the story. And she's going through a lot right now. She lost her husband, my condolences. And she has got vehicle problems with the van that is at issue here. Um, second of all, I'm not a nomad. Box Van D's a nomad. She's a hell of a nomad. I'm not a nomad. I've never claimed to be a nomad. And I'm not a DIY nomad builder. I do build out vans. And I did build out the van that's in question here. <laughs> um, I'm going to get back to that. Um, let's see here. Nomads are good people. They get trashed a lot and they are good people. And I'll tell you what, a nomad is that type of person that you want out there on your side when you do have problems with your rig, because most of them can probably fix it for you. So before you go trashing nomads, you might want to think about what if you, what if it's you someday out there? A nomad is probably going to be in your corner. So anyway, not a nomad, never claimed to be a nomad. I've got a pretty big house here in Missouri. So, and I got a van that I stay in. So not a nomad. But anyway, let's talk about the trade that happened in the summer. Tracy came up to Illinois, not Missouri. And she stayed with my sister for four days. She lived in the van for four days. She drove the van. On the fourth day, they went to the DMV. Tracy signed her title to a fair to good car. Bobby signed her title. Tracy drove that van to Georgia. She drove it to Florida. After it had over a thousand miles on it, she reached out to Bobby, said it had to be towed for some reason and wanted to trade back said it was um, not a good vehicle. It's a used vehicle. It was given to me. I built it out, put about $3,000 into it. My sister gave me $3,000 for it to reimburse me for what's in it. And her and Bobby traded. There's not $20,000 involved. There's not $5,000 involved. The fact that we're being called deceitful and dishonest is crazy. They traded an okay vehicle for an okay vehicle. Yes, used vehicles break down. That's what happened. Anyway, that was in June or July. I don't know which. I don't care. Doesn't matter. September 5th. Well, before that, Tracy called Bobby. She she threatened her with a lawyer. The phone call was crazy obnoxious. And um, Steve was not sick at the time. There was no illnesses involved. Um, and... It was, it was a horrible transition of phone calls. But on September 5th, Tracy messaged Bobby and I. Hello, hope you both are well. I wanted to say that I'm sorry for my reaction concerning the van. Hopefully you both can forgive me. She felt the need to apologize. She felt that her reaction, you know, was out of line. I got the van back from the dealership and happy to say it's going to take me on my adventures. Take care and thank you. She's apologizing for how she reacted. She had her van checked out at a dealership. Whatever was wrong with it, why ever she had it towed, it was done. It was going to take her on adventures. That's September 5th. Now she's got a fire on the back passenger tire on the side of the road and now it's our fault again it's a used vehicle so then this guy implies that it caught fire because a nomad wired it well shame on you because a there's a lot of nomads out there that are hell of electricians and know a whole lot more about van wiring than electricians do and second of all i videoed the, the build on that, I'm pretty sure there's no wires going to a tire or the brakes that catches a tire on fire. Like, I'm sorry, but you might want to do some Googling before you put that on video. But anything for some views. 
Um, <laughs> also, I'm a pretty good builder, as as you all say. And I kind of know a thing or two about van life wiring. Some of it I got from videos. Some of it I did from deep research. And I would never put someone in a vehicle that could cause any risk of fire or harm. And to imply so, you, sir, obviously haven't watched my videos except to get that little clip that you took out of my video to use on your video. You don't know me. I would never put someone in harm's way. We prayed for Tracy when she lost her husband. She called us and reacted horribly to the trade that she agreed on. I am sorry that the van is giving her problems. Her car that Bobby has isn't in excellent condition. It's got problems. So it seems that instead of making a video trashing me, you don't know me, that you could have reached out to me, asked me a thing or two, learned my side of the story before you ranted so that you could get views on your video. Shame on Tracy, but more so, shame on you. And I hope that my channel, I hope I never have to stoop that low to get views. And as some of the comments in your video show, karma is a bitch. See you guys on the next video.